Hi guys, it's the 17th of April, Sunday, and give you guys a little outfit of the day. So this is just a hat from Etsy, and it says Yeezus, <clears throat> obviously a knockoff. So you just have it on backwards, and then my crop top shirt is from Forever 21, and it says chill all over it. These high-waisted Levi's, Levi's shorts, are from Plato's Closet. And it's finally warm enough today to actually wear shorts. And then my, these are kind of like Converse knockoffs, my pink high tops. These are from Joyce Leslie. And oh my God, Joyce Leslie is closed now. And I'm so depressed because that was like my favorite place to shop. So, um, got my watch on. This is just from, where is this from? I can't think of where it's from right now. It's from that place with all the color coordination. I don't know. I can't. I got it on the tip of my tongue. But write in the comments below where it's from. Because it's from that place that has all the color coordination going on. Um, everything is like sectioned off by color. So that should be a big hint. Because I can't think of the name of it. But I love this watch. Really cheap and cute. My doggies are playing. Yes, they are. You guys are playing. I see you. I see you both. Especially you. Is Daddy outside working? Adam's outside, like, picking up, like, old leaves and trying to get the yard in order. I don't know if we can see him. He's on the other side of the house. And we are actually going to go to egg down to a flea market. Um, They sell, like knock off Gucci bags and things like that. They got like a bunch of stuff. We haven't been to this flea market in a few years. So it's the perfect day to like be outside. We didn't go to church today because I woke up really late and he wanted to get the yard work done. So we did skip church, which is a no go. But anyway, so I've been doing research into like the vegan lifestyle only because one of my favorite YouTubers, Carly Bible, she actually posted a video about her going vegan, like trying to go vegan, um, and it really sparked my interest and she like had talked about this girl called Freely, the banana girl. If you guys haven't heard of her, look her up. She has really informative videos. Like some people think she's a little harsh. I wouldn't say that she's mean, but she's honest and she really wants to spread awareness and that's kind of like what her goal is. And it's really interesting because she basically says the more carbs you eat, the better off you are and I don't know. Like I am well aware that there's a lot of like, you know, problems with like the meat industry and things like that as far as like mad cow disease. Um, and like the meat being tainted and full of hormones, but, uh, she actually posted, like, things that I wasn't aware of, like, the things they do to chickens and the things they, how they actually treat these cows, and they're so mean, and like, I don't know, that's like a big incentive to not want to eat meat. Like, last night we had cheeseburgers for dinner, and I didn't even want to eat my cheeseburger, because I feel like once you've seen something like that, you can't really, like, get it out of your head. Like, you, once you know and you're no longer ignorant to it, you don't want to eat that way. I mean, some people, maybe they do. But for me, it, like, made me just, like, not want meat. So, you know, I definitely want to go ahead and, like, try, you know, the vegan lifestyle. Um, as far as, like, makeup and, like, things like that, things like that, I'm probably not going to do that because I just... It's just, I know it's like more than just like eating habits, it's a lifestyle, but I just don't know how far I want to go. You can definitely have like limits and you don't have to just go completely overnight vegan. You can slowly get there and that's what I want to do is just slowly because I can't just like throw out everything, you know what I mean? And it's not going to be easy, but I don't know, I just... They don't really want me anymore after seeing so many of these like videos. These cows are like dead and like diseased and it's just like, ugh, I don't know. So anyway, once Adam's finished, we'll leave. So I'm just waiting on him.
So we are at the flea market while we're looking for a place to park. We got some stuff. I'll show you guys later. I'm trying to get to an ATM because this place closes soon, so we gotta get to an ATM like stat. Um, so we got to go flea market a little bit late today. So sorry guys, I've been definitely vlog ugh, slacking on vlogging, so I just want to change my calendar here. Kind of update you guys, so I just changed the sheets on my bed and I'm doing a load of laundry. And I'm actually dusting everything down because it's so dusty in here. Like we moved in almost a year ago and there's still so much dust. So I'm just dusting everything down and underneath the bed we get tons of dust bunnies. I don't know if you can see them. You can see them. See them in the light, all those dust bunnies? That's not like filth. It's just literally like tons of dust accumulating. Dust in here. I can vacuum this every week and those little dust balls come right back. It's so crazy. And of course there's like things like, you know, earplugs or my sleeping medication I find. Um, things like that. But um, yes, yeah, so I've just been doing that and I told you guys I was going to show you what we got at the flea market. We got to the flea market kind of late. So I think we would have shopped more. But... It's okay, I pretty much got everything that I wanted to get, so. And then Adam got the knockoff um, Jean Paul Gaultier. I don't know how to say it, but it's the, it looks just like it. So if you're familiar with this cologne, you guys know that it doesn't come in like, a, well it comes in a can, but like a nicer can than this. So it's called Blue for Men, but it is supposed to be the Jean Paul. But look how like, it looks identical to the, it looks identical to like the real thing, but like you would never know. As far as the smell, yeah, it just, I mean, it's not identical, but it still smells really good. So that's his. His is actually smells really nice. And then this is a yellow diamond. It doesn't obviously smell exactly like it, but it looks pretty good. Well, where it says Versace, I feel like it's kind of obvious it's fake, but the smell really, it smells really nice. So I ended up paying 15 for each, his cologne and my perfume, so that's not too bad. Like, would you guys know? Maybe the Versace looks a little fake, but this one, it doesn't. And it smells really good, so. You know what I don't understand is how they can say this is like Versace, but it's not. Like, but how can they... Because it says this product can be sold only by authorized Versace retailers. But this isn't really Versace, so I don't get it. How are they allowed to say that they are? A like Michael Kors bag forever that looks like this. Obviously not really Michael Kors, guys. I only paid 10 bucks for this, and it's got a back zipper compartment, two compartments, and obviously just the normal middle compartment. And I'm excited for this because I just, it's like the perfect little bag. Let me see if I can adjust the straps though. So I loosened it up as much as I could. I think I'm going to have it come up a little bit higher because I think it should hit right at my hip. I don't know if I like it this low, so I'm going to mess with it again. What do you guys think? I think it like looks better like right here. It's cute. $10. Like you just can't go wrong with that. I got a pair of the... Beats Solo, the pink ones, for $20 or $15. See, I don't know how they can, like, say. I don't know. I don't know how they can say they're Beats, but they're not. You see, you see, see, it looks like. You're rough, Coco. You're rough. They're crazy. Like, literally. He's like, help me. I'll help you. I'm gonna get a few of you guys soon. So let me show you guys these. 
I mean, because they look pretty good for being fake. They're just like dusty. Obviously, they had like cases of them. So I was going to get the wireless ones. Adam's like, don't get the wireless ones because they look like they're going to break. And I'm like, because I used to have a pair of wireless beats. I guess you can kind of tell these are fake. See, they just... I don't want to break them. You're supposed to flex out of it more. It's so scary. I would just keep them flexed out, I feel like, because I'm scared. Because they feel like... They definitely don't feel as good as, like, legit beats, but... Like, would you know? I don't know. They're really not bad. They're pretty loud. So, I mean, I know they're not legit, and I don't know. I expect them to last maybe a few months, but we'll see. You know, I just really like the color. Pink's my favorite color. I got these little bifocal-looking ones. Am I in focus? Aren't they cute? I don't have anything like these, so... These were $8, and so I got two pairs for $15. That's one pair. And then these ones are really cool. These are a little bit more sturdier. So these are the second pair. So that's everything we got at the flea market. I'm going to go ahead and... Finished cleaning my room, vacuum, and swiffer the floors as far as like the people, yeah. But the count, no. Because if you guys haven't known, I've been on since about September of 2012, and we're in 2016. Exactly. Admit that. As a doggy, get up and go. What? That shirt? Oh, you want a puppy?